back on the show is Eric Spicely, who's got a big fight coming up here against Tiago Santos at UFC Fight Night 95 on September 24th. Eric, how's it going? It's going okay. How are you? Uh, it's going well. Thanks for asking. And, you know, it's been a while since you and I last spoke. Uh, I believe it was back in, like, December, just before you had headed on The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, i got to ask, how was that experience for you? Uh, overall, it was great, you know, uh, being on the show, getting to train uh, twice a day, six days a week, and... Um, I mean, that's definitely the most I've ever fought, uh, three times in like six weeks, but, uh, all in all, you know, I have some friends that, uh, I'll probably have for the, you know, the rest of my life and, uh, that I'll keep in contact and it's opened a lot of doors for training for me and, uh, it's, it was great. Yeah. And who would you say some of the, the people you were closest with on the show that you've uh, still kept in touch with? Uh, definitely Abdel. Um, Andrew uh, and Amanda Cooper, uh, you know, I talk to a lot of them on a, you know, weekly basis or so. And, uh, you know, Abdel hooked me up here and, and now I'm at TriStar training for this fight. And, uh, yeah, it's been nothing but great. And we'll talk about that in a sec. Obviously, a great hookup training at one of the prestigious camps in in Canada anyways and in the world at TriStar. Um, I wanted to ask, though, you know, uh, reality shows do a lot of editing. Do you feel like you were portrayed well on the show uh, for The Ultimate Fighter? Uh, yeah, I feel like I was portrayed well. Um, you know, they they cut a lot of stuff out, but they didn't try to make any of us look bad in any way. Uh, and, and they mostly just, you know, they showed what was there. And uh, it wasn't like a, I felt like it was edited in any kind of way to make us look bad or good or anything like that. Um, yeah. I felt like it was fine. That's good to hear, because I was going to say, I thought, I thought you came across uh, quite well on the show. Um, I know uh, Dana White wasn't happy about uh, one of your fights or whatever, but, but other than that, I think that, you know, like I said, people really got to see the, the human side of you, which I think is awesome. Um, now, on the show, you, you lost to Andrew Sanchez, and then, uh, of course, you made your UFC debut against Sam Alvey, and things didn't go your way in that one either. And your guy is not used to this. Every time you and I talk, it's you winning a fight. I mean, you're undefeated, ain't you know. <laughs> um, and, and, of course, I was wrong on, on the last time I picked uh, your fight, but uh, we won't get into that. Um, what have you learned the most from the losses because uh, you're not a guy who's used to this um you know there was just some things i needed to change up with uh training and uh you know and, and i'm doing that now uh i came to try star uh you know i train at a small gym with not a lot of guys and I, I don't have a lot of training partners uh but i do have you know greg and chuck who are some of the best training partners but uh you know it's just kind of hard and and uh i needed to learn uh and I felt like I haven't learned uh, a lot in a, a while, you know. And that's what was so great about the show is, like, I just got to go in and train every day. And I got to learn from, you know, uh, coaches that have a lot of experience. And I have great coaches, but um, it's just kind of – we're lacking some of the MMA knowledge. And uh, and I feel like we definitely have the individual pieces, but putting it all together um, was kind of hard. So uh, that that's right now. And um, – Hopefully, you know, it'll show in my next fight. What, do you, what have you sort of uh, taken away the most from your time at TriStar, uh, you know, learning from Faraz Sahabi? Um, we've been working on game plan stuff and, and sticking to that and, and uh, just just learning little details, little tiny details that I have maybe overlooked. And, you know, just with little things like grappling or striking, you know, and uh, I'm learning so much from all the guys here. You know, I, I'm training with GSP, Tarek Seferdin, uh, Francis Carmont, you know, and, and everyone here is so nice. And, like, GSP pulled me aside and, and helped me with some sparring stuff and, uh, you know, just stuff like that where it's like, man, you know, uh, it, it's, it's great to learn uh, stuff from guys who are, you know, ranked very highly in the world and some of the best fighters. Have you had a chance to try any smoked meat in Montreal? I have not. Uh, oh, I don't really like smoked meat or uh, have very. Is, is it very salty? That's why it, it I, can be. It can be. But I'm telling you, you got to try it. It's like world famous in Montreal. So if you get the chance after the fight, obviously, it's not very healthy for you. But uh, something to keep in mind uh, <laughs> post fight for sure. So there, there's my recommendation. Um, and also glad to see you haven't been run over by the uh, Montreal drivers because it gets a little crazy out there. It is the most insane place I've ever driven. Uh, I've. It's scary. I've definitely. Uh, I don't like it, and uh, I try to drive as little as possible because uh, nobody here cares. <laughs> and I think it's. And I used to live in New York and, and drive in Manhattan, 
And uh, this just makes me very uncomfortable to drive here. I hear you, man. Anytime I go to Montreal, I used to take the train or, you know, fly or something because it's just, yeah, it's too much. Um, last question on TriStar. Um, any plans to go back uh, there after you've done this fight? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I love it here. Staying in the dorms isn't bad. And uh, like I said, it, you know, it's great to, to be in the gym with – guys like Francis Carman and Tarek and uh, GSP and, you know, Rory was in here the other day. Like, uh, it's very, very inspiring. And, you know, Faras has coached some of the best guys in the world. And, uh, you know, I, I'm learning a lot just by being here. And uh, I'm very inspired. So I would definitely come back here to do training camps. Let's talk about this fight against Thiago Santos. He's 4-1 and one in his last five. He's coming out that loss to Gegard Musashi at uh, UFC 200. How do you think you match up against him? Um, you know, I think I match up well against him. He's very, very tough. Uh, but, you know, he, he does better when he's the aggressor. Uh, when guys are pushing him backwards, he doesn't do very well, um, which is what Gegar did, which is what Uriah Hall did to him. Um, and, you know, he's very dangerous, and you just have to be on point and, and sharp. And, uh, you know, I think I'll surprise him with my boxing, and, you know, I'm going to try to win the fight. And the grappling is, you know, that's no secret. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great fight. This is your first time competing in Brazil? Are you worried at all about the drug testing? Because we've heard in the past that you know it can be a little kind of kind of loose, so to speak, down there. No, I'm not worried about it. Um, you know, I am worried about uh, mosquitoes and Zika, and uh, you know, I'm having troubles right now getting my visa because everybody's on strike um, in Brazil. So uh, you know, I'm just trying to focus on the fight and training, and uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully everything works out. Have you spoken to any fighters that have competed down in Brazil? Because I know even sometimes just for even like the weight cut, um, it can be a little bit hectic because you don't have some of the same resources that you're used to having in North America. Uh, I actually haven't spoken to anyone uh, about that. Um, And that wasn't really a concern, but I don't really cut a lot of weight anyway. Um, You know, I try to get very, very close to to making weight before I even get there. And, you know, I showed up for my last fight at like 96 and, uh, you know, was eating three meals a day, four meals a day, drinking plenty of water, you know, not really killing myself. So I'm not really worried about it too much. Well, yeah, and you're, you're pretty up on the, the health and nutrition because you and I spoke about this. You used to work at Whole Foods, and I know uh, you were obviously uh, used to, you know, getting really a high-quality uh, food and everything like that. So I'm sure it's, it's not an issue for you cutting weight. Um, is there any plans to stay in Brazil after this fight, like for a vacation? Uh, no, I don't have any plans. Uh, you know, I'm just really focused on this fight. Uh, you know, and everyone's like, oh, you should change your ticket. You could, you know, stay a week. And, I, and I'm just not, I didn't want to think about that. You know, I, I'm think, thinking about going in there and, and winning. And uh, that's all that's on my mind. All right, September 24th. How do you see this fight ending? Uh, I see this fight ending by uh, submission in the first round. Uh, last question for you here. Um, have you been able to get back at uh, your teammate, Greg Rebello, who I saw uh, said he bought a uh, Tiago Santos jersey? I'm a dude. I really, I don't know who that is, man. Okay, uh, <laughs> you keep you keep mentioning him, but uh, I know who the Gucci is. Ashley Gucci is one of my favorite fighters. You know, knockout power. He's got a good chin. So yes, uh, heavyweight champion. Well, you know, now he fights for World Series of Fighting, and uh, you know that just goes to show what hard work can do for you. So. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, everyone's got to check out your fight, UFC Fight Night 95, coming up here September 24th. Eric, appreciate the time. I know you haven't been doing a ton of interviews, so I definitely appreciate this. I just remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Uh, You can find me at Twitter on uh, it's just at Eric Spicely. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank everyone here at TriStar. Everyone's been great. You know, they they welcome me with open arms and, uh, yeah, just shout out to everyone back home, you know, all my training partners, Chuck and Dave and, you know, my coaches, uh, Tim and everyone else. So I'm excited to get back home and, you know, kind of wrap up camp there and then head to Brazil.